Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a super exciting day. I'm pumped. We got some sweet stuff here. We are finally going to be building my dream dirt bike. As you guys know, we got the KLX 140 RF and this is the bike we're going to be finally building. Now this is a little enduro weapon. This thing's a sweet little bike. It's great to have out on the trails and I'm absolutely loving it, but I'm ready for some more power and some upgrades. So we're finally going to be doing the full build on the bike. All right, so here is our super expensive box of parts and goodies here. So let's go ahead. Let's finally crack this guy open and let's take our first peek at it. Now I've yet to look at any of these parts myself, but this should have pretty much majority of everything we need to take this bike from ordinary to extraordinary. So let's go ahead. Let's pop some stuff out. I am super excited. We're going to be doing a full 170 CC BBR big bore kit on the bike and a whole bunch of other goodies. Holy smokes. Okay. We got some stuff in this box. Oh, sweet. They sent me a massive shout out too. If you guys are ever interested in picking up any parts for your uh, dirt bikes, I'm telling you these guys right here, Keystone cycle parts, they are absolutely killer. They sent this stuff out extremely quick. Now, for you guys that don't know, I live out here on the West Coast, and these guys over at Keystone are all the way on the East Coast. They're out in Pennsylvania. But I tell you what, I've never had a guy ship out stuff quicker. I ordered this stuff on a Friday, and he was here on the Tuesday. Like, literally three business days, and they were able to ship this stuff across the country and into Canada. Like, super quick time for shipping. Super impressed with them, and their customer service is absolutely amazing. So if you guys are interested in picking up any of the parts from these guys, these guys are the guys to go through. They had everything in stock, so a huge shout out to these guys. And if you are interested in picking up any parts from these Keystone guys, Guys. Links will be down in the description box below. All right, so the first piece we got, we got a nice, so we have here a green anodized shifter, absolutely sick. Here we have our custom throttle linkage for our carburetor upgrade we got. We got a sick pair of these Tusk grips. We got an FMF butt plug. Just kidding, this is uh, this is an exhaust plug for when you're washing your bike. You stick this in the exhaust and you don't get water down in it and you can't get water into your engine. Now here we have something super important, a great little add-on and piece that you must have if you're doing one of these mods is here is a BBR rev box. Now we'll get into this a little bit later, but this is crucial to the build. Here we have our TB parts camshaft. This is an upgraded camshaft. Once again, we'll touch on this later. Now here we have the cream of the crop. This is the piston for our big bore kit. So as I was saying, we're doing a 170cc kit on the bike and we're gonna be doing a full BBR and T-bolt big bore kit on the KLX. Now here we have a T-bolt upgraded brake lever as I've already bent mine. So definitely wanna have a new fresh one of these when we put it all together. Now here's one of the most crucial parts that you absolutely need if you're doing any sort of upgrades to your KLX is we got a genuine Makuni VM26 carburetor uh, and it looks like it comes with all the jets. And this is a genuine one. This is not a replica. This is not some knockoff. You don't wanna buy one of the cheap ones. They're just junk. It's worth the money to pick up one of these genuine carbs. So we got one of those, crucial to the build. Now, if you're doing the Makuni carburetor swap, you're gonna need one of these adapter kits. And this simply has the adapter that goes from the intake of the engine to the carburetor and an adapter for the boot, which goes to your air box off the carburetor. They went and sent me out a sweet little sticker kit, a super sick little Keystone beer can. That's dope. Yeah, I'm saying these guys are literally the best. Absolutely would deal with them any day of the week. Highly recommend you guys check these guys out. Keystone Cycle Parts on Instagram if you want to check them out. So here we have the cylinder head. Now this is uh, goes along with the piston. This is our big bore kit. Oh, this is going to be absolutely sick, boys. Super hyped on this. Now, if you're going to be doing an upgrade for power, you need to be able to support that power through the drivetrain. So we got a nice heavy duty chain here. This will be a solid, nice upgrade. And it's cool because it's gold and it's gonna be looking dope. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get into some more BBR goodies. So as you guys have heard me talk about a couple times in the last videos, is the suspension doesn't really hold up on the KLX 140. It's just too soft. Now, if you're gonna be adding more power, it means you're gonna be going even faster. So it's that much more important that you need some good suspension to be able to take up and cushion all those impacts. So here we have a set of BBR fork springs, some beautiful BBR stickers. So here are our fork springs. Now these guys are a lot stiffer than the original ones and will help a lot with the extra speed that you're going to be going through and hitting the bumps and the jumps and the whoops through. So these are going to be an absolute killer upgrade and a must have if you plan on riding the bike hard. Now, if you're going to be going ahead and upgrading the front suspension, you know, you got to do the rear as well. So we have an upgraded BBR rear spring here, which is definitely going to help with not bottoming it out when you're going through and hitting those hard whoops at a high rate of speed. So this is going to be another once again, killer upgrade, super stoked to be working with BBR, T-Bolt and Keystone cycle parts to be doing this build. Now, of course, if you're going to be doing the 170 cc kit conversion you're going to need a gasket kit for the cylinder head so we got here from t-bolt as well now to tie it all in together my boys over at cal air graphics have hooked me up with this absolutely killer crazy custom one of one graphics kit for the klx 140 rf now i'm only going to give you a little sneak peek so you can kind of see just the colorways in there 
and it's gonna be a surprise for you guys to see what it really looks like in the end. There's a little sneak peek of the color choice we're going with, and I, let me tell you what, it looks absolutely sick. So as you guys can see, we got an absolute plethora of parts, and I'm super excited to announce that we're finally starting the build on the KLX, so make sure you guys stay tuned. We got a ton of content coming, and I'm gonna be showing you guys the whole entire build process, and it's gonna be absolutely sick. Super excited, so if you guys are excited as me, make sure you go down below, click that like button, click subscribe for more, and leave any comments you got down below in the comment section. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.